Up first, a 12 News exclusive tonight. Another woman sharing her story of abuse at the hands of Timothy Sullivan, the man charged with murdering Amy Legions after police say that he confessed to killing her and dismembering her body. Thanks for joining us, everyone. For 12 News at 10, I'm Kariba Devine. And I'm Mitch Carr in tonight for Mark Curtis. Team Toll's Nyella Charles is continuing our investigation into the man's troubling history. Timothy Sullivan is now charged with murder, but his history of domestic violence in Maricopa County dates back to at least 2009, when police found Kimberly Houston in her home bruised and bleeding. He just threw me down the stairs, grabbed my hair and started punching me, and I ran out of the house. In 2009, Kimberly Houston says she was in a relationship with Timothy Sullivan. He was just out of his mind. He's just... When he gets mad, he just loses it. According to court records, Sullivan pulled a chunk of Kimberly's hair out, and his blows to her head left bruises. He just threw it on the ground. Sullivan was charged with misdemeanor assault and felonies for giving responding officers a fake ID with someone else's name. But Sullivan took a plea deal and was sentenced to a year and a half in prison for the fake ID. They just washed it under the rug. From there, Sullivan's actions escalated. In 2014, he attacked his roommate, Susan Davidson. I pretended that I was dead, laying there. I mean, I took short breaths. Court documents say he punched Susan more than 20 times and choked her until she couldn't breathe. Sullivan was charged with kidnapping, sexual assault, and aggravated assault. Days later, Susan gave police this statement. But he wanted me dead. Again, Sullivan took a plea deal and was sentenced to two and a half years behind bars for assault. Did they do anything? No, not really. Now, both women say their cases should have prevented the death of 49-year-old Amy Legans. They should have did more than what they did. I mean, it sh he should have been charged and maybe it could have prevented something. He did it again. And he did it to a woman. And that family has lost their daughter. Sullivan told officers he strangled Amy Legans to death after an argument, then cut up her body and disposed of it. He's now charged with murder. Sullivan's next court appearance is set for next week. In Phoenix, Nyla Charles, 12 News.